Hello everyone, Nadim here with PC Solutions Net, and today we are going to continue uh, on our management platform. Um, it's going to be a shorter video today, uh, but before I get started, uh, do visit uh, bit.ly slash 3ioLCz4, the URL that's on the screen, and register for our uh, virtual webinar on the 21st of this month, uh, 9 to 10.30. Uh, and it's in conjunction with the Chamber um, of uh, Mag Magnolia Chamber of Commerce. So um, uh, do join us for that, and then uh, let's uh, dive right into it. So I'm going to share my screens. So here we have the management screen. So today, uh, I know we went through the agent menu. We went through the audit menu. Uh, Anti-malware is pretty straightforward. We might cover it. If, if I get enough requests, I'll cover the anti-malware menu. But today I'm going to talk about the software management menu. So the software management menu does exactly what it says. It lets you manage software. The most important thing, the, the biggest thing that we use it for is patch management. So it at a glance, it tells us in our group, which is our test group, what the status of machines is. Uh, have they been scanned? If they are vulnerable, what, you know. So basically at a glance, we can see how vulnerable these these tenants are. So uh, one, of the, one of the main things about patch management is that, yeah, Windows uh, patch management that's built in is great, but you may have noticed that a lot of times it does not work. Basically, it just falls flat on its face uh, on certain patches. Uh, sometimes it will say, hey, everything is up to date, when in reality it is not. So this is an out-of-band management solution. So it does not rely on the, on the built-in Windows uh, patch management. So this system is akin to a user getting on the machine, manually downloading the patches from Microsoft and installing them manually on the machine. So, uh, you know, this is this is uh, that out of band management system where uh, you don't have to rely on the Windows uh, automatic updates at all. Uh, so over here, uh, basically, uh, we have we have several options here, vulnerabilities, patch history, but what I'm going to touch on is scan analysis. So the way the system works is basically we set up a scan schedule so we set up a scan for you know different types of machines that we might have um, and then uh, once we have the scan and analysis scheduled then we schedule a deployment uh, policy for it so let's say we want to scan so for in this example like let's say contract server there's 57 machines like that uh, we have them um, uh, scanning and analyzing Tuesdays and Fridays at 6 p.m. Of course, this is after hours, so we want to do that. Now, we, we can have as many different profiles over here as we want. Uh, you know, like we, we have a, a profile for servers called night business because we don't want to scan them at night. That's a night business. So we want to scan them during the day, so on and so forth. We can have as many as we want. So anyway, uh, we can do overrides over here. We can deploy third-party software through this and we can manage third-party software like you might have Adobe or something like that that you might want to manage and update or Java. Uh, and then we have the deployment. So in, under deployment, same concept, we can deploy the software uh, from here we can set up the profile for it so in this case we have a deployment schedule set for wednesday and saturday at 9 p.m and the distribution window is one hour so it will automatically distribute you know the the, the uh, when it's going to apply that in a one hour window so uh that way you it's the system is not trying to patch everything at once you know it's not trying to deploy patches on all machines at once and basically bringing everything down uh so uh, you know th this works great now this system, Kaseya, is a policy-based system, right? So software management and all that, uh, it's great. And I can deploy, I mean, I can associate machines here. So I can assign a machine here and associate a machine to this profile. And then the system will automatically follow that profile and, and apply those patches on those days in that schedule. However, being IT techs, we like to use policies to do that. So Software management works very well with the built-in policy management module of Kaseya. So what it does is, uh, and I'm not going to go into a lot of detail here, but basically what, what you do is you can assign policy to a machine or group of machines. Uh, and then once you apply policy, so let's see what policies we have. So first we create a policy 
and it's still loading. So here we have a few policies over here, right? So, so we create a policy and then we assign a policy to different groups. So like right here we have uh, you know, different policies assigned. Uh, we can assign them to different groups. So once they are assigned, basically the system applies that policy to that group. Now we can go into uh, organization machine groups and we can see that we have applied, for example, uh, the group contract has a bunch of, bunch of these policies applied. Uh, Non-contract has a bunch of these policies applied. So all these groups have different policies applied. So now all we have to do is assign the appropriate software update profiles uh, to a policy and then push them out via policy. So that way we don't have to go and select each machine that we have to apply those update Windows update profiles to. Uh, we can basically push them out via policy. Now, not this doesn't just apply to software management, right? So the policies in Kaseya apply to pretty much any module out there. So we can push things out via policy to to machines automatically and and that's the beauty of it right so we don't it basically minimize the automation work required so the the less humans are involved the less chance of error the smoother the whole process is so that's what software management gets you so over here uh, i'm just going to look in my text my test group so i can at a glance see that uh these two machines they were off and they are pending scan analysis uh, that's why we have this little exclamation mark. Uh, this is a server machine. Since it's a server, it's never turned off. So it's always been running and it does not have any alerts. So let's look at that, what happened here. So vulnerabilities, there are no vulnerabilities on this server. Uh, we can see profiles, uh, any profiles that are assigned to this server. So we have contract server assigned to this server. Pending patches, there is not. Uh, there is no suppressed patches and there are no errors. Now, how do we know it's actually working? We look at the history. So these are all the different patches that is applied uh, recently, right? So it shows us the date completed and basically gives us a detail on the patch. And we can click on this patch and get more details on that. So that's how easy it is. Now we don't have to rely, we can actually disable Windows Update on this server and let uh, our management platform handle all the patching. And this is out of band patch management. So if there is a patch that requires user intervention, like you'll, you'll notice some patches uh, ask you to say yes on that agreement and you have to click yes before it installs it. Well, we take care of all that. So this system will take care of all those patches like that. So one place we set up our policy and boom, the machines that the policy is assigned to is automatically patched. And then at the end of the day, uh, we send out a report to management. So we actually will send out a monthly report uh, for either servers or any covered machines, how we're doing as far as patch management goes. And in the, in the report, we have a lot more stuff, right? So we have uh, how patch management is doing, how many patches are there, uptime of the machine, we calculate that, uh, disk uh, space uh, issues, so how much free space we have on machines. So we give one, like a one page, nice graphic report where management at a glance can see how their network is doing, how their infrastructure is doing. So that's software management. And until tomorrow, um, we'll, uh, everybody have a good day. And then tomorrow, I think I'm gonna touch on the anti-malware because we didn't touch on that. And that's, we, we get quite a lot of requests to deploy anti-malware on machines. And, and this makes life a lot easier. So uh, everybody, until tomorrow, have a good day and uh, be safe out there.